Deep Seek version 3 is out now. You can see it was just announced a few hours ago. This is completely free for you to access, but it's extremely powerful as an AI. So you can see some of the stats here, 60 tokens per second, fully open source. You can also download it and run it locally, which is pretty powerful. I'm going to show you exactly how to access it in two different ways for free. If you want to see the paper and how it works, etc., you can check that out. And I'm going to show you some of the best ways you can use it. You can also see it's a strawberry test. So this usually catches out most models. They've said how many R's are in strawberry. It's actually counted it properly, as you can see. What's also interesting is this is a Chinese based technology as you can see right here and it was trained on a budget of six million dollars now from what i've heard chat gpt actually costs seven hundred thousand dollars a day to run this was trained on a budget of six million dollars which is pretty low when you compare it to other models you can see its key benchmarks versus for example quen 2.5 which is another chinese technology lava 3.1 la claw 3.5 sonnet and gpt 4.0 so you've got the benchmarks right here and you can see how it performs. It's actually outperforming a lot of the other available paid models out there. And if you want to get access, you can get access at Deep.com. There are two ways you can get access to it via the API or just via the chat. I'll be showing you the chat today. Here are the key benchmarks if you want to check that out on the website. Here's what the UI looks like. I'll be running you through it, including how DeepThink works, how its search feature works, and how you can use this to automate a lot of your best workflows and what's wild about this is it's free it's open source and it's actually outperforming gpt 4.0 and claw 3.5 sonnet on multiple benchmarks pretty wild stuff right there but the biggest difference is it was trained with 10x less compute what's interesting in this chart as well by alexander wang is that you can see its accuracy percentile versus llama gpt 4.0 etc and you can see it's raising the bar for most of these technologies additionally if you want to get access via hugging face it's available there and these are some of the key stats about it as well you can read more on the technical paper if you really want to go deep into that if you're using the api directly it's actually a lot cheaper than many of the other ai models out there and other things are being built on github with deep seek for example deep seek engineer this is a tweet by pietro who's actually created a coding assistant using DeepSeek and that's available on GitHub too. So let's get straight into using this. So what I'm gonna do quickly is just run through a content prompt right here. I did show a few people this yesterday on the content optimization, but we'll be running through some new prompts in a second. But just as an example, you can plug in your prompt inside the chat. It's completely free to access. There doesn't seem to be any limits from what I've seen so far. We can give it a fairly complex prompt like this for SEO optimization. Just plug in your keyword right here. You'll get access to all the prompts in a minute. And then if we hit enter, it's going to start generating the content. Now, honestly, the content doesn't seem as good as Claude 3.5 Sonic. So, so I think it's honestly better for logic and for reasoning and for coding. Not the best for AI content creation, but it does do the job and the content is nicely formatted. Plus, like I said, this is completely free. It's just not going to feel as humanized as other content as other platforms, for example, like Claude. If we pull up Claude side by side and we'll use exactly the same prompt, you can see the difference in the quality of content. So let me plug in exactly the same prop right here. We can check them out side by side, see how they perform. And if we just compare even like the main headings, for example, what is SEO comes from DeepSeek. Whereas for example, Claude is like, what is SEO? Here's a real deal, right? And if you look at the way that this is written, it just feels a lot more human than the writing inside DeepSeek. So for example, if you compare, look, if you're trying to figure out what SEO is, you're probably frustrated with your website and not getting the attention it deserves. I get it up in there, right? That's really humanized. And, and just feels natural as it flows into it. Whereas, for example, if you look at this content, ever wondered why some websites pop up first on Google while others are buried on page 10? That's SEO work. It's not bad, but it just doesn't feel as humanized, right? And I've seen that throughout the content right here. If I actually compare the word count, though, let's check this out. I do the formatting on DeepSeek. It, it looks nice. That's 518 words on DeepSeek. Let's have a look on Claude, see how we're performing here. So the content is actually longer directly inside Claude as well. So if I had a choice, I'm going to go with Claude every day of the week when it comes to content writing, but here's where it changes. So for example, if you're optimizing, not just for content creation, which is great for humanizing content like Claude, but if you actually want to optimize for semantics, let's say, for example, you're using a tool like Surfer SEO, or you've got a list of LSIs and keywords that you want to create within your content. We can use a prompt like this, which is fairly complex. And we're basically getting the article to be written using the semantics below, so the recommendations. And typically what I find with these reasoning models, for example, ChatGPT Pro, which is $200 a month, but with these reasoning models, like they are very smart. 
of following instructions. For example, if we take this content right here and we can see how it performs for SEO content optimization, let's grab it. And what we're going to do inside DeepSeek now is we're going to select Deep Think, which is its reasoning model, right? Like GPT L1 Pro or these other reasoning models. And um, this is a really complex prompt, but you can see how it's thinking out the whole process. Now, what's interesting about this is how it writes in first person. Okay. So I need to write an SEO optimized article with the keyword SEO training Oxford. First, I should do this. Then I should do that. Then I have a list of keywords. So I need to include that in a certain amounts, right? And it's really planned out carefully what it's going to write before it creates the content. If we look at the thinking mode before the actual content creation, let's have a look at this. So it's actually 700 words of deep thinking before it even creates the content, which is pretty wild. And the way that's written is very humanized. Like it's like looking at human writing or thinking. So now we've got the content creation, which is over here. It's included our content plus it's written it personalized to us. And then what we're going to do is we'll check how that performs for semantic optimization, not necessarily for writing for the user, but writing more for the algorithm. So let's see how that performs. We're going to go into this content outline right here and we'll see how it performs versus say something like ChatGPT Pro. So we'll plug in the content, see how that does. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. 45% content optimization. It's not too bad, but you can see that it has missed off a lot of these semantics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these LSI keywords that's recommended plus a word count, which is 800 words. I'm going to go back into DeepSeek now and say, okay, make sure you use these LSIs in the quantities recommended plus word count equals 800 words. And we'll see if that can just do a better job second time around. Let's see how that performs second time around. So that's actually dropped down now as well, right? So it's actually, in terms of semantic optimization, not great. It's not going to perform as well as, say, something comparable like GPT-01. If we go to GPT-01, and we'll use exactly the same prompt to see how that scores. So let's grab exactly the same prompt. We'll see how ChatGPT-01 scores. And I think it's good for you to see how it compares versus other models. And also just to give it a fair test, right? To see, okay, the thing that I would say between all of these is that certainly O1 is slower. So we're just using O1. Maybe I should have used O1 mini, but the response rate is super slow, right? That's taken a fair amount of time to come back to me. But if you get a better output, probably worth it, right? So now we've got the content from O1. Let's see how this performs for semantics. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. 77% off the charts, right? So from what I've seen so far, Claude 3.5 Sonic is still better for content writing. ChatGPT01 is still better for semantics versus DeepSeek. What you can also do though inside DeepSeek here is you can say, for example, create a free SEO cost calculator and it will actually create the HTML for that, like you can see right here with the CSS inside. And then from there, you can run the HTML. So you can actually create tools directly inside DeepSeek and then run that HTML, test the tool directly. So if we click on run HTML over here, we've actually got the tool ready to go. So we can select between all these different models and then calculate the cost and it'll actually give us the estimated cost calculator. And so you can generate tools in like literally seconds using this. Again, it seems to be way stronger at coding and reasoning than it does for writing and semantic optimizations. So it's passed the test on that. Let's give it a bit more of a complex prompt now. So I'm going to try and create this keyword research tool like you can see. I'm going to plug this into DeepSeek. This is something I would normally create with, for example, like Bolt or Lovable, or these free AI coders but we'll see how it performs directly inside DeepSeek V3. And we've got the HTML back. Now we've got the style CSS. In the meantime, just to test it out, what I'm going to do is go to liveweave.com. This was actually a Space Invader game that I created with it directly in DeepSeek yesterday. And that seemed to work first time around as well. So the coding does seem to be pretty high quality when it comes to DeepSeek, especially because it's free. So let's go back in here. We're going to plug in the HTML over there. Then we're going to grab the CSS. If you're wondering, okay, how do I embed this or how do I upload it to my website, etc., it's pretty simple. Like you can just get the project files, put them all in one folder, and then you can upload them directly into something like Netlify. So we've got the preview now, and that is actually looking really nice. That's way better than I expected. I actually created a tool with Bolt. Yes, I actually created a tool with DeepSeek yesterday. Didn't look anywhere near as good. So I think it comes down to the prompting too, like you can see. But this is super nice, right? We've got a nice little keyword research tool here. The website is designed nicely. Colors are nice. It's created the content on the page with like nicely designed emojis and headings. And that was literally in one single prompt, just using this one right here. So literally a copy and paste prompt. You could probably use that for any tool that you have in mind. And then let's test this out now. So we're going to say, for example, SEO into the analyze keyword section. It gives us the keyword analysis, search volume, competition, suggested keywords, etc. 
And that was super simple. Best SEO agency, we'll plug that in, boom shakalaka, we got it ready to go. I'm not really doing this for the accuracy of the results, but more to show you how powerful this can be as a free coding tool and how good it is for coding. The functionality works first time around. If you try and do the same thing inside, for example, Bolt, which is another free AI coder, let's see if it works. So I'm gonna go into Bolt right here and we'll plug that in and see what it comes back with. But just to recap so far whilst we're waiting for this, for content creation, I wouldn't use it. For optimization on semantics, I wouldn't use it either. But for creating tools, it's great. And also for creating websites, it's really good as well. And bear in mind as well, when you're doing this, you can see all the project files that Bolt has created. And this is gonna take a little bit longer to roll out. Whereas that website is super simple. It looks great, the design is nice. And it's only three files that you can just quickly drag and upload into Netlify for whatever tool you're trying to create. You can create like one page websites super fast using this process. Now, to be fair, Bolt has created something really nice as well. I would still say Bolt is creating a nicer website. But obviously, it's even created the branding in the top right, etc. But I think they're both pretty good. I like the pricing plans comparison as well at the bottom. That's pretty cool. And it's got all these links inside here, but I don't think they're going to work. If we click on them, nothing happens, right? It's created the spine of the website, but a lot of these internal links don't work. And also, the pricing doesn't make sense either. Now, another really cool thing that you can do inside DeepSeek as well, if we go to search over here, is we can plug in this prompt that says search for my keyword. You insert your keyword right here. Reverse engineer the top ranking competitors content for this keyword, and then ask for headings, subheadings, word count, topics, LSIs and entities, right? And so using this process, it can actually search the web as you can see. And it's really, this, power, this prompt is super powerful for actually just figuring out, okay, what are my competitors doing? And how can I reverse engineer their success to get similar results, right? So for example, it's pulled together the main headings, subheadings from our competitors, the recommended word counts is giving us a range right there, topics mentioned, LSIs and entities, etc. So for creating the content with Claude or whatever you're going to use, you can use that right there. And then key takeaways as well, right? And so you've basically got an automated content outline based on what's already ranking out there. And you can use the free search the web feature on DeepSeek. So there's a lot of potential in DeepSeek. I wouldn't say it's perfect for content creation, but for coding, searching the web, creating one page websites, designing the front end, creating the apps like the Space Invaders game that I created earlier. Pretty cool. It's got a lot of potential. It's amazing how fast it is as well. It's really fast to respond. And again, it's free. If you want to get free access to all of this, plus a free SEO community, SEO course, proven SEO case studies, loads of stuff right here as well that you can get access to. You can scan the QR code on this video. You get access to all of these prompts. Plus there's over 200 lessons for free inside here with SAPs, tutorials, tips, templates, all breaking everything down step by step like we've done today, right? For every single thing you can imagine when it comes to content and quality control, keyword research, link building, topical maps, SEO tools, SEO systems, different automations I've tested. Everything, by the way, inside this course is all tested by me. Even, for example, like how we diversify our traffic across Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, email, Facebook ads, and funnel building and my Chiang Mai SEO conference presentation is all inside here, right? So if you want to get access to all of this for free, you can get it, scan the QR code or link in the comments and description to this free SEO course. Additionally, if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, feel free to get that. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month and generate thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot on this free link building acceleration session. You'll get a free SEO domination plan, discover the secrets of link building, we'll answer any questions you have, you'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly add ranking competitors to link building and how to 10x SEO traffic based on what's working for us. So, this is all designed to get you more leads, traffic, sales with SEO so that you can grow your business and make more money for your website. So if you want to get that for free, just book it in, link in the comments and description. Appreciate you watching as always. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.